Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, BC Backwaters. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. As of making this video, I'm at 953 subscribers, so I'm really close to 1,000, so I hope when I post this video in a couple weeks, uh, I will be really close to 1,000. So make sure you hit that button, it goes a long way for me making new content. And this year, in 2021, I have had a lot of time due to COVID, and I've been able to make videos almost every week. I've been trying to post something. So yeah, hit the button, hit the bell, and uh, I really appreciate it. Today I'm gonna go over a project I really enjoyed. It, uh, it worked really well. Everybody wants an elevator bed so they can park their Harleys, their dirt bikes, their RZR. Um, my trailer is six and a half or seven feet tall, so it's not very tall. So I'll show you the bed lift I made. It gets the bed about half foot above the quad. Um, I do need to do a little bit of lifting because of the height. So I cannot pull the bed all the way up to the right height, but I only have to lift it three maybe four inches more in order to get it in the top easy track here so uh, make sure to stay tuned and I will go over how I put it together hey everyone not sure if you can see this very well with the Sun but this white is the bed frame uh, we're gonna put four eyelets on all four corners from those eyelets we're gonna tie rope off and we're gonna come up to the four corners of the ceiling and do pulleys from those four pulleys, we're gonna run our rope all the way over here to this little latch, which is connected to our hand crank, which will be mounted in the front of the trailer. So, when you crank your hand crank in, that'll pull your ropes and pull your bed up. And then, you can also go back and put the bed down. Uh, that'll still go into our easy connect um, braces on the side, but uh, up and down will be much easier, as right now we're just doing it by hand and it is very difficult. So this will be a one-man operation, whereas right now we're doing a two-man operation. So make sure to stay tuned and see the build. Okay, so we got our first eyelet installed. We have a washer and a bolt on the other side and a washer and bolt on this side. So now that we've done the one, we'll do three more. And these will be where our rope will attach uh, to the bed, which will lift the bed frame up and down. Now we have our eye bolts installed around our bed. Now we can mount our four uh, mounting brackets where we're gonna put our pulleys. And these are gonna be on the top corners. And these are going into the frame can match it up right here because I can see the frame where the uh, where they bolted the plywood wall to the frame so we're just gonna go straight up from that and put an anchor and we'll do, do this on all four corners if anyone's wondering we're using number 12 inch and a half uh, we'll cut the hole with these inch and a half but then we will snap off then we will snap off the cutting portion and just thread the rest in. We just don't want to make sure we go through the wall on the other side. But uh, I've used these before and uh, they work and they don't go through the wall. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just snapped the bit right apart. So I'll have to go find a stronger one. Okay, we have all our corner mounts done. There's one, two. Flip to the other side. Again, one there and one there. And now we can attach our pulleys. On each one of the four corners, we have a pulley. So with the pulleys 
uh, it'll be a lot easier pulling the bed up on the hand winch and again these are all removable so when you get somewhere you can take these down right away and uh, and put them away so we got one set of rope on each back ends now we're going to do the front one and all it's doing is tying to the corner of the beds up over the pulley and then we'll get all the ropes to the center now with the rope cut to length we'll feed it through the pulley and then we're going to center the mallet and start working on the hand crank. So you can see all that. That rope goes up to a dual pulley. And that is mounted to a piece of the frame with self-tapping metal bolts. I guess they're not bolts, they're screws, but self-tapping. And so there's the dual pulley. And this is all removable. And then to the back where there's a single pulley and down to the back corner eyelet. And so what I've done is I've done that on all four corners and on the front I use the dual pulley. It just pulls that string nicer otherwise you get the back and comes up. And again show on this side so you get the two and again all four corners and then I have my easy track and that's where the bed will sit right now it's sitting on the lower easy track so I got my two pulleys on that side two pulleys on that side and they all meet here in the middle so you're probably wondering how I'm gonna pull this up so what I've done is I've added this boat pulley I picked it up at the uh, hardware store this is a forward and reverse and I've, instead of the handle, which the handle can be used, I put two bolts and I'm able to put a three quarter inch socket on the side. And so as that pulls the clip in, it'll raise and lower the bed. So I'll show you that now. Nice thing about this is the bed's not fastened to anything, it's just sitting in that easy track in 2x4 right Clip your lines and your latch. Okay, now we're going to take our drill. This is not an impact drill, just your standard uh, drill. All right, we got a 3 quarter inch bit, which will fit on here, and it's a six-sided bit, so we don't round these. Um, and all you do is make sure you're going up, put your drill on, and pull the trigger. Now with the bed elevated, like I said, we couldn't get it up all the way just because the trailer is not tall enough. Uh, but this is way higher than where we need it. So all I have to do, and we have four on each side, but just because we're going up, we're not putting any weight on it, we're just going to do the four corners. So put that in there, and then all I have to do, lift the bed up, put it in there, do that on all four corners, like maybe you know maybe 20 pounds I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on here so we'll do that for the four corners leave the ones in the middle and then when you're going back down lift it out pull your bracket put your bracket down here and we're gonna lower it and when we get close to the bottom here we'll readjust it so it'll fit in here and once we get one all of them will go so we'll lower it now There we go. We got one in. Got the other side. Now we can lower it a little bit more.
Okay, so now when we go to take it apart, all you do is take one side off. That'll sit there. Like I said, you can remove all this if you need to, um, but we'll leave it there. Take off this side, leave this one over here. And then we gotta remove our hand winch. So now we're gonna pack up our winch. We're gonna wind up our strap. Oh, better go the other way. Lock that in, take our drill out. And then to remove this, just loosen off our bolts on the bottom and these can be wing nuts. There's one. And this does not have to be strapped to this. This can be mounted to the floor or to your wall, depending how you want to do it. I just put it here because it was center and it was easy. There you go. So I just use some 3 8 bolts. That just bolts it to the seat. And then when we're all done, we just put this away. And that's it. So it does take a little bit of adjustment, but this is all done by me. So one person, uh, much easier than three people, trying to pull this up, adjust those. So this is my bed lift. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.